hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can create a payment gateway on shopify so having said that let's just jump into the video now first things first what you're going to do is you're going to come over to shopify and you have to create an account if you don't have a crown you're going to have to create one if you already have one you can just simply sign in right so i'm going to go ahead and create an account and i'm going to be using a temporary email to create an account because these are disposable emails i don't want to create a permanent account so i'll just simply paste my email over here and i'll just simply click on start a free trial and once you've logged in this is how it's going to look like right this is your dashboard over here you have your ad products then you have a customized themes and ad pages organized navigation ad domain and all of that and then over here on the left side you have your orders products customers analytics marketing discounts apps and all of that so first you just simply have to add a product right so over here you as you can see i've already added a product so over here, as you can see, I've already added a product, right? And adding a product is very simple. All you got to do is, you know, just simply click on add product over here. And then you can input all of your details manually over here. Like you have to enter in your title, description, the media, the pricing, the inventory and all of that. But uh, if you don't want to do all of that manually, what you can do is you can go into the applications over here on the app section. And then over here, you have this application called Deezer. You just simply download it and install it on your shopify store and with it you can import different products from aliexpress it's pretty simple and that way you can add different products over here it's pretty simple now if you want to know how i did that there's also a video on the channel where i explained how you can use it easier and how you can use it to you know upload products and use it on shopify to for drop shipping so if you are interested in that then you can go ahead and check it out as well so once you've added your products you just simply have to create your online store and to create an online store what you're going to need to do is just simply come over here and click on online store right over here and over here this will be your store over here this will be your theme this is the dawn theme over here you can change it as well they have some a bunch of different free themes as well you can go ahead and explore it just simply click on explore free themes and choose a theme that you feel most comfortable with so like this one over here we have crafts we have craves we have studios but i think the dawn the default theme looks good so we're going to leave it at that and then other thing you have to do is you have to connect some sales channels to actually you know start selling online so you have some facebook sales channels you have google you have point of sales you can go ahead and quickly add this click on the plus button and you can add them and you can set them up once you've done that you've added your product you've added a store you've added it to your website now you can go ahead and start setting up your payment options now to do that what you're going to do is just simply click on the bottom left corner on the settings icon and then over here you have a bunch of different settings options so you have plans you have billings you have payments checkouts and all of that what you're going to do is simply click on payments and over here you will have two options you have payment providers you can go ahead and add that you have supported payment method you can add a payment method over here or you can add the manual payment method so each of these are going to be applied uh, pretty easily so over here you just simply click on if you want to choose a manual one you have bank deposit money order and cash on delivery if you want a supported payment method just simply click on add payment method over here you can search for a payment provider that can help you with that or what you can do is you can add the payment providers over here so choose a provider and they have a bunch of different options now what you're gonna be you know looking for is someone that has a, a lot of entries so some of these aren't available in my countries but for you they might be but i'm gonna search for something or some payment method that is available in my country and has a lot of different options so i think at the top the two checkout account is very similar it has all the options it has visa mastercard amex and uh, discover we also have jcb and we also have diners club so we're going to choose this one so we're going to click on to check out and over here they're going to ask us to set it up so the setup process for the to check out account is very simple you just have to follow this 10 rules over here uh, you have to create an account you have to log in and activate it access the integrations webhooks and all of that and then you just simply click on that then you have to find the secret keywords and you know merchant codes and you have to put them over here and then you just simply enable test or just simply activate to checkout account so pretty simple right so let's go ahead and create one so we're going to click over here on this button and we're going to click on create a to checkout account over here as you can see we just simply have to sign up it's free as well you don't have to worry about that so we'll just simply sign up 
So over here, you just simply have to add in your first name, last name, your business email, your password, and your website. So for the website, um, I'm just simply going to add in my Shopify account because this is my website. So I'm just simply going to copy the URL and I'll paste it over here. And then I'm going to fill out the rest of the form and click on get started. And then they basically ask you what type of products do you want to sell on two checkouts. So you have digital products, you have online services, retail, physical products, offline services, and others. So since we have physical products, we want to check that and we'll just simply click on create an account. And then there you go. So it's going to say your account has been created. Then you just simply log into your account. Okay, so once you have signed in, this is how it's going to look like. So they're going to ask you to activate your account. You can just simply click on start activation. And then they're going to ask you a bunch of different options like, you know, before you start about your business, about your products and all of that. And once you've done that, you're good to go, right? So the process is very simple. You just simply click on next. So over here, you just enter in all of the information that they require, such as the company registration date. So we'll just say that it was registered in 2019, May 23rd. Yeah. Then we'll put our address and then we'll just simply click on next. And then you just simply have to enter in your company registration ID, your tax registration number and all of that. And once you're done, but uh, since we don't have that, we're not actually a registered company. We're just simply going to save that for later. But you can go ahead and do this. So I'm just simply going to save this for later. You can just exit that out. You can input all of your registrations options and then you're good to go. So this is basically, you know, over here, the sample data that they give us. So this is not a real data. So don't worry about that. So what we now have to do is we just simply go back onto our Shopify store and click on the settings option. And we go back to the payments to see where we can find the two checkout, you know, options so that we can see all of the requirements that it requires. So we'll just simply click on choose a provider and we'll click on to checkout. And over here, they basically said to access the integration, you know, go to webhooks and API section in your cPanel. All right. So we'll go with that. So over here, integrations, webhooks, and API. So over here, underneath API, as you can see, we have a bunch of different options. So this is our merchant code right here. What we'll do is we'll just simply copy that and then go back over here. And as you can see over here, they say under API section, copy the merchant code and paste it in the merchant code section over here. So scroll down. This is the merchant code section. I'll just simply paste that over there. And then the next step is for us to you know, generate a new INS secret word and paste it in the secret word section over here. So over here, we'll scroll down and you will see the instant notification system. This is the INS. All right. We just simply click over here and over here, we just simply update it. All right. And usually it would be over here, but I'm sorry, over here, that was not, that was like the notification system, but this is the INS uh, secret word. So what we'll do is we'll generate it. We'll copy it. We'll go back to our Shopify account and then over here in the secret word section, we'll just simply paste that and then we are good to go. They basically say click on the save settings option back over here. I don't think we can do that over here. I think they meant over here. So then just simply the redirect URL section, check and enable return after sales. So over here, you can see the redirect URL. So we'll just enable that and then we'll just simply and for or the redirect URL section, leave blank. Shopify will provide the return URL for return method. Select Helder redirect. So we don't have to do all of that. So then we just simply leave that as it is because then we just simply save this button over here. And then we have saved everything and we are good to go. Then all that's left for us to do is just simply activate the two checkout account. And if you did the process right, you've added the right merchant code, the right secret word, and you filled out all the details that the uh, two Shopify account asks you for, your payment method will work. So as I said before, you can do this with other payments method as well, but this was the only one that was available in my country. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment sections down below and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. So having said that, I will catch you guys in the next video and until then, take care and goodbye.